In November 2010, Chell Pipe started operations of Iron Ozone 32, a state-of-the-art electric steel making unit built by the standards of white metallurgy. The production process begins at the scrapyard. Cranes upload the scrap metal delivered to the plant into a charging basket. Lime, which is needed to produce slag, is added to the basket filled in with metal. Metal scrap from the charging basket is poured out to an oven. The oven is closed and electrodes are inserted into it. Voltage is applied to the electrodes as a result of which electric arc ignites that heats metal. In the process of melting, oxygen is blown into the oven. The gas oxidizes impurities in the metal and speeds up the melting process. The melted metal is covered with a slag layer. Harmful impurities contained in the metal are absorbed by the slag. To remove the slag, special powder is blown into the oven under high pressure. As a result, the slag foams, its volume significantly increases, and the slag pours out from the oven while metal remains inside. When temperature of metal is sufficiently high, the steelmaker makes a decision to tap metal and reports to the foreman about its readiness. The foreman at the control room taps metal into a ladle. As metal is outputted, deoxidizing agents and ferroalloys are added to it to produce the steel of the required grain. At the next stage, steel is subject to final purging from harmful impurities and fine adjustment of its chemical composition. The heated metal is cleaned by argon. This procedure ensures cleanliness and uniformity of metal composition and temperature. The ladle with finished metal is lifted to a ladle turret. At the turret, the filled-in ladle is swapped with an empty one and set at the tapping position while the empty ladle is prepared for receiving a new cast. Next, billets of required diameter are cast from the melted metal. The ladle gate opens and metal pours out into an intermediate ladle that distributes the metal between strands. The metal goes next to a crystallizing unit where it is shaped in accordance with specifications and solid crust forms billet surface. Inside the billet, metal is still liquid. For accelerated cooling of the billet, it is sprinkled with water from many nozzles. The billet passes through the secondary cooling zone. The billet is to be completely crystallized here prior to cutting into pieces of required length. The distance between the crystallizing unit and the point of final crystallization is referred to as the metallurgical length. The billets cut into pieces of specified length are marked. As the billet cools further, it is rotated around its axis to prevent deformation of metal. The billets are finished, but they are too hot yet. Cooling continues until the temperature of billets falls below 100 degrees. When the billet temperature is low enough, they are uploaded to open railway cars. This is the process of Iron Ozone 32 workshop for continuous cast of the billets that are used then to produce best pipes by Chell Pipe.